Hello everyone! So I just finished watching My Love From Another Star. Every time I watch a K-drama, it makes me want to go back to wearing more of a natural look. As very requested from you all, today's makeup tutorial is inspired by Cheon Sung Yi. Today I'll be showing you guys how to achieve her effortless natural look. Of course, we can't miss it, her vibrant lips for the extra glam. Thankfully, winter is leaving us. This look is just perfect for spring. Time to put away all the eyeshadows and enjoy a younger, fresher look. Flawless makeup comes when wearing a good makeup base. This UV primer will illuminate the skin to take away dullness, add hydration to create a smooth canvas, and protect my skin from sun damage. Heavy concealer is not the way it goes. Just because you wear more doesn't mean it covers more. Caked under eye areas just makes eyes look more tired and lifeless. Instead, opt for something more water-based and light so delicate skin underneath is also moisturized for a natural look. Use a fluffy eyeshadow brush to feather out the concealer for best coverage results. Now this concealer is actually one of my favorites. It's super thin but hides dark circles so well. It's also part serum too so it helps to minimize dark circles in long run. Using a lighter varnation, I'm applying this in the inner part of my face to highlight my facial features and the brighten of the skin. Remember, a little foundation goes a long way. Then, with a slightly darker shade, I just apply this on the hairline and the jaw area for a natural contour look. This will make the face appear more 3D. Remember to also blend into the neck and ears as well. For makeup to look very natural, almost barely there, use a beauty blender. With the same darker shade, I can then go back to my fluffy eyeshadow brush and just contour along the nose bridge to create a defined nose. To complete the flawless makeup, set with finishing powder. Remember, don't overdo it. A healthy complexion should always look just a little glowy and overly matte face can make the makeup appear heavy. After all, it should look like skin, right? Chion Sung Yi's eyebrows are interesting. Her brows don't look perfectly groomed. In fact, they're kept a little wild for a young baby look. So using my brow wax, I just fill them in just a little in the front to neaten them up. And although Sung Yi's brows are straight, they're also slightly curved. So I'm going to round up my brow ends. To make the brows like extra neat, use some brow gel and brush them into place. Using a peach primer, prep the lids ready for eyeshadow. Avoid anything that's too light or shimmery. I noticed Cheon Sung Yi's eyes are kept simple with just a little warm peach eyeshadow, so grabbing a peachy eyeshadow, I just apply a wash all over my lids. Grabbing a brown gel liner for a subtle look, instead of using a small detail brush, I'm using a smudger brush to tight line the lash line. It creates more of a blurry soft look which looks less harsh than applying with a small brush. Now with my brown liquid liner, I can then just define the ends just a little. Don't extend it out, don't flick it out, keep it nice and natural. If you've already seen a drama, you'll notice her eyeliner barely stands out. Highlighting the lower corners is a must, but avoid using anything too strong like silver, white, gold, or anything too glittery. I love to use pearly light pink. It looks much softer in the eyes, and a little highlighting is enough. Don't overdo it or it will look unnatural. Take your time curling your lashes to make sure every lash is lifted evenly, then you can go ahead and apply a defining mascara. I would personally avoid using volumizing formulas because the eyes should look clear, not dramatic. Because we are going for a natural natural look, blush should also be kept to a minimum. Stick with a light peach blush for an angelic glow and you can even apply this in a triangular shape to create a subtle slimming effect. Now I'm actually using my brow pencil to line my lower lash line because it's much lighter than a normal brown eyeliner. It also defines the eyes in a more subtle manner so they don't look as heavy. Now Chung Sun Yi is famous for her neon lips so instead of getting her famous lipstick, I'm just using a pink lipstick and just layering a more moisturizing peachy orangey color on top. The fresh color along with the gloss is what's going to add the instant glam to the look. 
I love this look. The makeup doesn't steal away the focus from the natural beauty within us. Instead, it just adds a perfect little amount of enhancement. If you're like me and you just don't want to wear lots of eye makeup for the hot weather coming up, this refreshing glam look will be perfect for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this simple makeup tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you soon. Mwah.